Good morning, fifth graders. Today you're going to learn how to do pointillism. Pointillism is a system of art that did not last very long, and it was by it was created by George Surratt, and this is where his um, dates for this. Just going to give you a very brief, brief uh, synopsis of his work. And I'm going to show you all artists. We'll start with beginning as naturally, you know, learning how to do all the uh, basic things in drawing, you know, your perspective, your shading, your values, colors, and so on. So Surat did the same thing. He started out looking very real in his work. Okay, just like this, very real. And then he was influenced by other artists like the Impressionists, and he, his brush strokes became much looser, as you can see, much more freer. And then they started getting wide. And then he came to the point where because of the Impressionists, they liked to paint outdoors and very quick strokes. Look at what happened. He was outdoors painting this as a very quick, quick look into his artwork. Now, because of that, he thought, okay, because I'm doing such small brush strokes for my artwork, why couldn't I make dots? Have colors next to each other so that your eye will put blend yellow and red together and make it orange. So this is what he did. He started making things look like this. If you look at the original paintings, you will see that these, these small dots next to each other. So I'm gonna show you some examples. This is one. This is another one. See, you can see more now of the dots, but I'm gonna show you what he did with a particular painting. Now, this looks like a normal painting. Let me get my pages here. Whoops, I'm getting out of focus. Ah. Okay, see this painting right here? Okay, see how nice it looks? Well, this is what it really looked like in the beginning. All these, this is a red and blue dot to create a purple tone on the actual picture. See, right in through here. This right through here is a color of yellows and browns and whites next to each other to create, from a distance, they blended together. He wanted to do optical work. Now, this would take an awful long time to do, so it did not, like I said, it did not last very long. But you are going to do a similar type of artwork, but very simple, very simple. And I'm going to show you. This is from one of my former students here. And what you're going to do is this. You're not going to do tulips, you're not going to do a vase or anything, but this is how it's going to look. It's going to be very, very simple. All right, first of all, you start out with an idea. You draw it out, just like what we've done before. And you know, as I always would say, put your name on the paper, flip it over, and then draw. So that way I know who it belongs to. But here you do, you just draw it out just like you would. Now I use markers so that you can see this. So after you have it done, we normally do it with paint. However, because of the situation that we're in, you're going to use crayons. So try to think. Now when I show you in paint, you're gonna do in crayon. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you have it all drawn out. You are then going to put a very light color on the back of your objects. As you can see here, I have just very light color of the actual. Then on the other side here, I know I, do, I don't want you to do it the same way as I'm doing it here. I want you to do the whole thing just like the final product like this. But this I wanted to show you in two different stages. Okay, so once you have it light, you're just lightly coloring it all in with your crayon. Then you're gonna take the point of your crayon and you are just going to make dots. Just dots, just like this. Making them dots. Close together, but yet allowing this background color to show through. So I do not want to see this. This is what happens when students do this. They will do it like this. And they will randomly go like that. 
that is not the, the correct way. You're going to actually make dots, circles, circles and circles close together when you are doing this assignment. Now, I know it's going to uh, be a little more frustrating because you're not used to being using just plain dots, but the background color is going to be very light. Then you go darker with that same color on top of the light. So light pink, dark pink dots. Light purple, dark purple dots. Light yellow or orange, darker orange, so on, until you have it completed. So you can do cars, you can do space, you can do monsters, whatever. But the whole sheet is covered. And it's a 9 by 12, like this size right here. Of paper so if you have any um, printing paper you may use that okay if you want to try to do a larger sheet go right ahead but you'll know that it will take a little bit of time to do this total total picture and I know just don't get frustrated when you do get frustrated take a break and go back to it again and have a good day and enjoy